the Ubuntu 2024 20, April release has been benchmarked now right here and it is using a gig of RAM um, which is still I mean it's the worst desktop operating system tested so far but um, still significantly better than the other closed source options um, but if you want to run GNOME 46 you can run it on Alpine and it uses half the memory so 556 megs um, and also the system load seems lower and it's, use, it's using less than 2 gigs on Alpine and I don't know what Ubuntu is using for 9 gigs um, or what they're doing that doubles the amount of uh, memory usage um, of course if you still want a desktop environment um, and you're not set on GNOME then there's LXQT and um, I would suggest pairing it with Kwin for the window manager um, since it's the only up-to-date option on Alpine and that uses you know half the RAM of GNOME at 243 megs um, and significantly less system load and less disk space closer to a gig um, the the downside when you end up using more uh, disk space like 9 gigs on Ubuntu or any of the Nix OS options which are very high is that the if you're using an SSD or even a hard drive it's more I.O. which means you're shortening the drive life um, on something that you don't necessarily have to be using all that space for so that's uh, an advantage of using Alpine um, what's also sad is Debian here just stock Debian is using more memory and more disk space than Alpine with a desktop environment so highly recommend Alpine um, right now I'm using Budgie on one system I'm likely to switch that uh, it was I transitioned from GNOME to Budgie and then on my secondary system that I'm testing on I'm using LabWC which is Wayland with uh, I don't recall from using SDDM or Greek D but um, either is still significantly less resource heavy than using LXQT um, but yeah, what, what would you like to see benchmarked um, here? What would be helpful? Uh, all these tests currently are automated for the memory load, disk usage, and reboot time. That's all automated. I have, um, that's with a, a shell script. The uh, building, we're currently using libvirt with vert manager and I'm building that with Terraform but uh, the install process I'm trying to figure out a way to automate the install and it looks like cloud in it is not um, a good option because you have to use a cloud image uh, and these are desktop operating systems so I'd rather just use the standard ISO um, and it looks like the options there are uh, Packer um, I'm still looking into how that works and then the two Alpine specific um, ways to automate the desktop install is uh, Alpine Lift and Alpine Auto Startup, I believe it's called. Um, so those are the three options I'm trying to determine right now, which would be best for uh, automating how the operating system is, is installed declaratively so that anyone can reproduce these results. Um, at some point, I'll, I'll put this script out. It's not complicated at all. Anyone could recreate this really easily for 
how to get the metrics, the performance metrics, but the um, operating the automating declaratively op automating the OS install, the provisioning of the VM, and then um, the software, which I'm will likely be with Ansible for automating this um, so that this is all reproducible and anyone that wants to test this can. Um, but yeah, if there's anything that anyone would like to see tested, uh, let me know in the comments.